It was more than 400 years ago, in 1610, that Juan Benek was de Cordoba, seeking to promote devotion to St. Paul, acquired custody of the grotto from the church authorities, following negotiations with Pope Paul V. Seven years later, Grandmaster Alov de Minyakol raised the shrine to the status of a collegiate and founded a body of canons to officiate in it. According to popular tradition, Paul resided in this grotto during his two month stay in Malta. The building is built upon a complex of passageways that comprise part of St. Paul's catacombs. The original plan of the Winyakul College was laid out by Francesco Buonamici. The building was completed in 1749 and continued to serve as the official residence of the canons after 1798, when the knights were displaced by the French. The building functioned as a hospital, a victory kitchen and a public school. During the war years, 2,000 loaves were baked here every day to feed residents of Rabat. Within the room, in the building's garden, is the 1930s car that used to serve Bishop Don Mauro Caruana. Many of the items on exhibit were acquired by the chaplains who embellished the residence. The collection was further expanded by later acquisitions from private donations, notably by notary Francesco Catania. Amongst the more important items in the museum are paintings by celebrated artists such as Mattia Preti, Antoine de Favre and Francesco Zara. Another important exhibit is a portable altar that used to be on board the oldest galleys. A chapel on the first floor used to serve the spiritual needs of the residing chaplains for the private devotions. Close by is the treasurer's room, with a wooden chest placed in a high opening on an internal partitioning wall, in which money and other valuables used to be stored for safekeeping. A UNESCO World Heritage Site that encompasses millennia of history a shrine so tightly knit with the story of Christianity in Malta, a place of pilgrimage, a museum for lovers of art and antiquities. This is the Winyakort Museum in Rabat. <laughs>